minimizing charisma, maximizing intelligence, shooting someone in the crotch with a cannonball, thrust, propulsion, it's science-y. <laughs> Why you always gotta be blowing my spot up like that? There are my runes. There they are. I'm not mad. Science needs art and art needs science. They both need each other to function properly. There are ways to figure out what the paper is really saying. And then I'm ready to get on Twitter and yell at people about doing their own research on the- oh! Oh, oh, hold on there, sports fan. Kyle Hill, everybody, is the next generation of science communicator. I'm going to be too old at a certain point to do those terrible things to my body, and it'll be up to you. He's got like a lion's man. This guy's amazing. <laughs> Kyle Hill. I'm Boo Rambo. The universe is indifferent to you. Whether or not you have amazing hair, the universe doesn't care. How are trees pushing past this pressure limit? Ah! Behold, my balls. Ah! Ah! Now we're getting somewhere, but I still don't think it's worthy of G.R.R. Martin suspender. I'm totally right, right? Post up photos of my my frickin' hair? Is that what you all want? No, you don't. Kyle hey. Hill. Kaku, how you doing, my man? Yeah. No, I was just about to start uh, streaming some sciencey nonsense, you know, taking one for the team so other people don't have to. You know what I'm talking about, baby? <laughs> What's that? No. Yeah, you... You're not aware? You're not aware of how many spam and scam science channels use your likeness? Oh yeah. No, I mean, well, I mean, you keep giving the pret, Kaku, my man, the Kaku, you keep giving these, these, these quote, these sound bites to these, uh, whenever you're doing press that they're, they're just very kind of wishy-washy. Mother Nature doesn't even, you give things wills and ways that I don't think, it, what's that? You're not Michio Kaku. Oh, well then, you're who? Oh, well then, yeah, just a double quarter pounder plane with cheese. Love you, bye. I don't know how to end conversations. Chat, welcome. Welcome back to the facility. It is the return of office hours. I know many of you haven't seen me here streaming on this channel in a long time. So you may not be aware of my existence. We've been extreming, we've been streaming, extreme streaming, extreming. We've been extreming over on the gaming channel. But of course, happy to see everybody here today. We're doing a little bit of an experiment. We're also doing a little bit of an experiment today. Um, G'day Kyle, this is Kiara Murphy. Happy to have you here, mate. How you going? Um, we're doing a little bit of an experiment chat. So I've been thinking about how to bring back office hours for a while. It just wasn't really worth my time, in my opinion, rather than uh, in indifference to working on more Half-Life histories, which is gonna be the next video up on this very Chan Chan. Um, but I'm thinking about how to bring back Office Hours, this podcast, and I thought, you know, since my recent crusade, my recent holy crusade against spam and scam science videos on this platform, I thought, why don't I jump on the React bandwagon, but do it in a positive way, so you don't have to watch these videos, I tell you what to look out for, and then we start creating a list of things of how to engage with good science content. And at the end of this, I'm going to give you a suggestion for a good science channel. So why? Uh, so as we go through this chat, I want you to let me know. Um, let me know if you're enjoying what we're doing. We're going to go through four crappy science videos so you don't have to. And we're going to be looking for things. We're going to be taking your comments, questions, concerns over here on this giant 75 inch monitor that I'm looking at right now as we do so. So let me know. As you can see, yes, hair game on point. Yes, I have entered daddy mode with my facial hair. I can't help it. Sue Wilson, 
with the five. I appreciate your ultimate sacrifice on our behalf. Thank you, Sue. Hopefully no one sues me today. Lot of newbies in the chat. I appreciate everyone being here. From Elvis, to Anonymous, to Minos, to Legil, to Giannis, Zombie Survivor, Dave Breen, of course, from the gaming channel. D. De Silvosa, Zerberus, Sergeant Johnson, Mark, We Remus, happy to have everyone here today. Chat, I have no idea how today's gonna go. I don't know how today's gonna go. It's an experiment. I don't know how long we're gonna be on, but we are here to explore this dark side of science YouTube. Spencer Daniels, you're the best teacher, Kyle. You make science easy to understand. That is the best praise I can get. Thank you so much. Mark, welcome. Minos, welcome. Someone is suing Kyle? I hope not. So, Chet, what we're going to do, we're not going to show videos in full. We're going to go to some timestamps that I picked out beforehand so that we can go to specific things that I think you should look out for. Because I worry that if I show full videos in full, it's going to be boring because these videos mostly are just boring. And they're going to claim us, which I don't want to do. Jean-Michael Gaudier is a great science channel. Evil, thank you with the two. Hey Kyle, this is the first office hour stream for me in three years. I've been lifting weights in my room to better fit my Johnny Silverhand cosplay while sick. Happy to be here. Go get it, George. Go get it. Excited for you. Why did everyone, why are so many of you saying you thought I'd be bald? Uh, Kasuki, no, I'm not gonna show full videos because some of them are an hour long, hours long videos of nonsense. Awesome to have you back. Looking forward to whatever comes as Eddie with the five. I'll show you, Eddie. Engage aperture like science transition. That Aussie guy in the chat, I'm in hospital right now. Thank you for entertaining me, Kyle. You're welcome, mate. Happy to have you here. Hope you're feeling better. I hope you're enjoying my nine out of 10 Australian accent, I've been told. Chat. Should I turn off? I think I should turn off the music for the for this part, right? I think so. Maybe just a little bit. So they can't, so they can't like, they can't like fully claim it. Yeah. Trying to find ways around them, chat. Okay, so chat, we're starting off today. A scientist reacts to spam and scam videos, we're going to start off with this channel, Fact Nominal, one of the channels I initially started looking into when I made some of my videos. My missus loves Chernobyl but hates ionizing radiation. It's okay, you can probably live in the Chernobyl exclusion zone and be fine. Honestly. Um, speaking of which, I have an, an interview with one of the men who took photos of the elephant's foot coming up. This channel looks cheap. Says ZZ, hope you're talking about not mine, or else I will nuke you from orbit. Now, chat, here we go. So, first off, when we're looking into these things, when we're looking into spam and scam science channels, as I see them, and as I describe them to all of you, what we're looking for are a couple of telltale signs. We're looking for clickbait titles and thumbnails. We're looking for straight up misinformation. We're looking for stolen footage. So footage that definitely goes beyond fair use and footage that is definitely not cool to use, like from National Geographic and stuff. Are you related to Bobby Hill? Says Monkey Jeebus. No, I'm not related to Bobby. Dang it. Dang it, Bobby. My voice is not in sync. What are you talking about? Seems all right to me. Oh, I missed one, you're right. We're also looking for the AI voice. Oh, the music is double, you're right. I know what's going on. We're just gonna turn that off for now. We're gonna turn that off for now. Um, and we're just gonna talk to each other. I, Cause it's, I know what's happening, it's fine. Oh good, Kyle becoming a reaction channel? Chat, I'm do, look, this is an experiment. Chat, this is an experiment. If you think this is gonna be cringe and I'm just becoming another sniper wolf, hey, you can tell me that. But I'm doing this with the explicit purpose of trying to educate you about what not to watch. I'm not, I'm not watching their videos in full. I'm not doing this 
Okay? And if you honestly don't like it, tell me in the comments afterwards and then I won't do it. That's fine. But we're trying this. Okay? Please just get to it, says Jack. Oh my gosh. Chat. It's incredible. Uh, we're looking for AI voices, clickbait, thumbnails, misinformation, stolen footage, copyright disclaimers, and pat and padding. A lot, a lot of padding. Okay. Those are your friend Kai boys things to look out for as we're going through these. So you can see when I when I describe the problem of these things, I, I, I'm looking at channels that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers, hundreds of videos. First thing I'd look for is, okay, so that's weird to have just random numbers and stuff inside inside your description. Z in the chat with the 300 euro donation. Chat, thank you so much. Z is one of our most generous patrons. He's an absolute crazy person, totally hairless, drags himself behind a, a, a cigarette speedboat at 60 miles an hour. The hairlessness allows him to glide over the waves much like a dolphin. Thank you, Z. I'm not seeing any copyright things just yet, but getting immediately into the channel, you can see that someone has discovered a pattern here. Someone perhaps has discovered that putting black and white with arrows works. The second thing that, we're, that, that I'd look for immediately would be misleading titles and thumbnails. So the one that we're going with today whoop is all the way down here this video caught my eye unfortunately don't go to the moon quote terrifying apollo tapes that reveal the existence of aliens a that didn't happen that didn't happen chat this quote don't go to the moon no one said that but let's see what it says. Do you know I'm not going to show you ads, chat. That'd be crazy. I'm watching this on my on private mode because I don't want it to taint my... <laughs> I don't want it to taint my recommendations that I, that I value very highly. Okay, chat. Do we have any... Oh, there we go. If you have any copyright problems, email us and don't make a copyright claim so that we can intimidate you into not copyright striking us. Got it. Okay. So where am I starting with this? I'm starting at... Okay. So apparently, there, during the Apollo mission, Apollo 10, um, the astronauts heard a weird noise. Now, when they came back, this weird noise kind of took on a, a, a one of these ancient aliens, conspiracy theory type uh, lives... And it got spread as, we don't know what this noise was. It was probably aliens. Let's play a little bit of this. ...it back to Earth, and it's been hidden ever since. Okay, so, so I'm going to tell you this is an AI voice right away. And if you don't believe me, watch how the annotation changes. So sometimes when you put, this, put uh, words into AI generators they get they they change their their uh their the way that they're speaking because they don't know about context or anything like this listen to how this changes off the record as soon as they made it back to earth and it's been hidden ever since join us as we bring you the truth that the apollo tapes had been hiding and how knowing this reality changes our past and present entirely so they go they go from was this true join us Oh, join us for this. Oh, it's because the AI voice doesn't know not to do that. Right. And no one's checking this. They're just putting it up. They're putting up multiple videos, sometimes per day. <laughs> oh, <laughs> join us. <laughs> Which is wild. The next thing that you'll notice is for videos like this, 
Um, Kyle, I'm the history teacher that bought a Demon Core shirt. I know someone that works at IMPO. If talking to them would help you at all, says Jason, Jason Holmes. Thank you, Jason. I did see that. <laughs> the next thing is you notice in videos like this is an extreme amount of padding. So once you get the initial AI generated stuff like, hey, isn't this weird? Then you get dozens of minutes up to an hour, which we'll see, of just what I think is reading off Wikipedia entries. They'll know what to expect. The spacecraft consisted of two main modules, the command service module named Charlie Brown and the lunar module named Snoopy. Charlie Brown had the command module and service module. The command module was the crew's cabin this and is control just center, this, this while is the just service module describing. provided propulsion and stored essential supplies. This section was supposed to be detached. The next eight minutes is simply describing what the spacecraft, what, what, what the spacecraft consists of. That's it. The whole thing. Before re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, Snoopy was the lunar module. Okay. Mission process and time they joined NASA. Thomas Stafford belonged to the second group of astronauts selected by NASA. Still just describing straight from Wikipedia. Um, they also, look at all this, look at all this footage that they're scenario. taking. But so, so they're taking footage from researchers. They're taking footage for some of my friends. That's padding and that's stolen footage. Like vintage space, Amy over at vintage space. They use some of her footage in here. Um, oh wait, I have the time code exactly. It was. Yeah, so this is vintage space. This is my friend Amy over at vintage space. Very talented. She's written many books on the history of space travel, like breaking the chains of gravity. If you want to check that out. Um, and this is, this is stolen footage from her. So I'm popping that right up there. Now, now the, the next thing that you notice from some of these videos, after they go through minutes and minutes and minutes of simply just describing Wikipedia articles, they go all the way. What you'll notice is, um, you'll notice a trend here. They set up all of this. You, they set up all this. Ooh, isn't this weird? Could this be possible? And then they ask, and without any real information, then they ask you. ...blackout, which is exactly how it was for Apollo 10. Do you believe that these were actual aliens making contact? This is what I call the History Channel approach to asking questions. They don't prove anything with evidence. They just keep asking questions. And if so, and if this is true, if so, and if that is true, if so, whoa, 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 whoa. Back and back and back. Um, and if you're wondering, so there was, so these astronauts did in fact hear a weird sound during their mission. And that is what this video is pointing out. It sounded like kind of like a wee, a wee woo sound. Well, if we, if we look for just two seconds somewhere else, how about a CBS interview with an expert? This got a, uh, maybe more attention than it really deserved. Uh, this was radio <laughs> interference between the uh, radio, VHF radio in the lunar module and one in the command module on the back side of the moon. Uh That's it. That's it. So what we, so from that video, you take, you take uh, a weird thing that happened. You don't establish anything about what we discovered later on. And then you pad it out with 10 minutes of AI voice Wikipedia entries. And they do that so that it hits at least eight minutes for advertising revenue. That's it. Is this a, no, it's not. But think of, look at, look at how much stuff you get out of weird little quotes like that, where you can, you can put, look at this, uh, six hours ago, two days ago, four days ago, four days ago, eight days ago, eight days ago. Each one of these are almost 10 minute videos, almost at the exact amount of time you need to get advertisements, advertisements on them. No one can put out this length of videos at high quality without artificial assistance. Let's move on. Um, the next one that we're going to look at it's from Cosmos Lab. Let's do a quick looky-loo. 209,000 subscribers, 50 million views. Do I see bad thumbnails? 
or misleading thumbnails? Well, the one we're going to click on today, breaking news three days ago, chat, chat three days ago, the largest volcano ever just ripped the earth apart three minutes ago, chat. It's an hour long. That means we're already dead. Chat, that means we're already that dead. Weird. That's incredible. How did we die already? Now, what this video is, is in the trend of disasters. There's a lot of, like, disaster porn here um, that try to scare you that something crazy is about to happen. And in this one, it's all about the Yellowstone supervolcano, the caldera underneath Yellowstone National Park that is interesting. It is interesting, but a lot, dozens of channels try to make it seem like it's about to explode at any second. First thing I want to point out is a lot of stolen footage from the BBC right off the bat within 30 seconds. Within 30 seconds, a lot of stolen footage. Let me see if they also. No. No copyright. No copyright, but a lot of stolen footage. This is exactly what I was talking about with Brandon on our last scam video about taking footage that otherwise you'd have to pay a lot of money for. Yeah, look at the context tag, yeah. Um, the next part of this, <laughs> this one is funny. So this is an hour long chat. But again, uh, teach us how to think critically, Kyle Scienceman, says Alicia Herbiter. Welcome back, Alicia, with the five. Um, Chat, when, remember when I pointed out the uh, the AI, AI voice on the last one, how it didn't know how to continue the cadence of the sentence? And it went, oh, but what about this? Oh. Listen to how this AI voice, listen to how this AI voice pronounces the word lava. Lava, as in, you know, the entire point of this video and what kind of warning has been given. Join us as we uncover the largest volcano ever, which is about to crack open the Earth. Part one, the largest volcano is about to crack open the Earth. Scientists are not calm at all. Yellowstone Volcano Observatory scientists are on their toes, trying to pinpoint when the volcano will erupt. The answer certainly is yes, to whether there'll be an eruption. This is so bad. The, the, the question is, wait. when? I went, I went too Very soon. Very recently, Here, the Yellowstone wait. caldera has been showing. I went, I went too soon. I don't want to show so much. Here it is. Here, listen to how they pronounce this. Wild guesses about its eruption. It seems that the lava is being pushed further to the surface. Yellowstone might be a place of awe-inspiring beauty. It might be. But it is a volcanic region. What? So its beauty should not fool you. No. A massive five-mile-deep reservoir of hot larvae lies beneath the one. A massive reservoir of hot larvae, chat. <laughs> chat, there are so many young bugs underneath Yellowstone. Can you believe it? You. A massive five-mile-deep reservoir of hot larvae lies beneath the wonderful park. Wait. Chat, nobody is checking these. Nobody is checking these. Hot larvae? There's hot larvae in my area, chat? Can you believe that? This video goes on for an hour. And all it is, is literally... I think they went to a Wikipedia page of large eruptions and then just narrated it. This whole gosh dang time. This whole gosh dang time. And like I said, remember, remember I, I, I pointed out or tried to point out that they will go for a, they will, they will spend an hour telling you hot larvae in my area. They were, uh, earlier in the video, they pronounced lava correctly, says Sean Pope. That's how you know it's not a human. Um, so the, the trend being, they will go for an hour long, it's telling you that Yellowstone is about to explode. Literally, 
it just exploded. It ripped the earth apart, weren't you there? And then they will say something like this, at the very end when nobody is watching. 70,000 years ago, magma conditions don't indicate this monster is likely to blow anytime soon. Oh, just kidding. Oh, it's <laughs> after an hour long of saying words like larvae instead of larva, you say, uh, of course, that's not gonna happen, by the way. Look at it, see, look at their, look at their trend. Look at their trend that they noticed. Three minutes ago, shocking. Finally happened. Three minutes ago. One minute ago. Five minutes ago. We found life. Two minutes ago, look what they did to my man, Neil. Look what they did to him. It's absolutely shameless, Chet. Completely shameless. Scientists are not calm, Kyle. They are on their toes. All the channels are like this. Let's go to one more. Oh, so that one had so much padding, it's wild. An hour of padding. So chat, we're going we're heading to uh let's 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 try this channel. Let's try this channel. Um Voyager, 400,000 subscribers and a thousand videos. Okay. What am I looking at here? Freya Firefly with the two says, Love you, Kyle. I love you, Freya. This caught my eye. Again, Neil deGrasse Tyson. We have just three months. Pluto just collided with Neptune and something terrifying is happening. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. That didn't happen. Where are they getting this from? What is this about? All right, I'll click on it so you don't have to, Chad. No, Chet, they just, it just collided with Neptune. Did you miss it? Okay, again, stolen footage. Let's just put a filter over it so no one, so no one cares. So this is their, uh, their, Pluto and Neptune are, have a certain kind of orbit. Um, and that orbit is not like the other orbits of planets in the solar system. It's, it's, it has a, um, it has a three to two, um, it syncs up in, a, in an odd way, let's just say that. And because it syncs up in an odd way, people or scientists and astronomers were worried that maybe Pluto and Neptune would one day collide. And channels like this take things that have already been proven not to be things and then just expound upon them with 20 minutes of padding. Okay, so let's see if we get an AI voice. Recent reports suggest a looming collision with Neptune, sparking concern. No, it doesn't. What recent reports? What, a looming collision? I thought, but, but I thought it just ha it just happened. But how could reports say there's a looming collision if it already happened three minutes ago? Chat, I'm confused. Now, I do have more sympathy for this AI voice because it is Australian. But right off the bat, they're wrong. Concerns among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Renowned experts including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Mikio Kaku. Mikio! Renowned, renowned planet expert, Mikio Kaku. Mikio! So right off the bat, as we're, as we're putting we're putting those markers up there. Misinformation like crazy. Oh, look, chat. Disclaimer. Our videos are designed for entertainment purposes, not academic research or even reference. 
Though we aim for accuracy and creativity, not the same thing, they are not peer-reviewed and should be enjoyed as such. Mikio! Oh, and, oh, you're saying they're not peer-reviewed? How would I know that? Pluto, once considered a full-fledged planet, was later reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unique orbit. Wrong. Wrong. That's not true. That is not why Pluto was reclassified. It, it's not that this unique orbit that I mentioned with Pluto and Neptune, that's not why it was reclassified. Chat, what do you need? There's three things you need to become a planet. Wrong. You're wrong. Uh, you need three things. You need to be large enough to spherify yourself. So at a certain size, the force of gravity will overcome the internal forces of friction in a material, even like rock and metal. So when something is heavy enough, it, the force of gravity causes even rock to move like liquid. And because the force of gravity acts in all directions towards a center of gravity, that makes, that acts to spherify things. So if something is not very circular or not circular at all, like an asteroid, it's because it doesn't have enough mass. Okay, so it needs to spherify itself. Then um, it needs to be large enough to have a gravitational influence such that it clears its orbit of other celestial bodies. Now that is the reason why Pluto is not a full-fledged planet. There are other objects in its, in its pathway through the cosmos that it should have cleared. That's why it's not a planet, not because it has a unique orbit. That is not true. Wait, Chet, did, you said, did they spell, did they spell Neil deGrasse Tyson's name wrong? They did. <laughs> they can't even get that right. Nunoku, welcome back from the gaming stream, buddy. 699, thank you. Chet, Mikio, and Neil DeGras, that's not even, it wouldn't be even, DeGras? Now it's French. Mikio and DeGras Tyson crunching on sick larvae. Holy crap. Go touch some Neil DeGrasse. Indeed. Unbelievable. So chat, AI voice, clickbait, misinformation, stolen footage, copyright disclaimer so far. What's up next? 23 minutes of padding. Underdog, thank you for the five. Pluto will always be a planet, says Robert Turpin, with the five. Uh, incorrect, but sure. Um, now, remember that trend I told you about. What do they say at the end of this video? Get ejected into interstellar space. In all these scenarios, the actual likelihood of a planet collision is still considered highly improbable. The entire 20 minutes you've been watching have been a complete waste of your time. You said it just happened. You just said it just happened. And then you said, oh, it didn't happen. In fact, Pluto and Neptune technically are never gonna come within 16 astronomical units. One, astro one, astro uh, one astronomical unit chat is 93 million miles. So this is 900 million miles of each other. But it, but it happened already. But just kidding, it didn't happen. Thanks for your views. I guess DeGras and Mikio were wrong. Chat, are you enjoying this so far? Is this something that you, uh, is this enjoyable at all? Is this helpful? I don't know. Like I said, chat, today we are, we are, uh, we're doing a little bit of an experiment. In fact, let's take, let's take a second. Let's take a second. I want to talk to you for a second. Chat, how we doing? I love this content. It's hilarious, it's ridiculous, enjoyable. 
Winter Mute, not to be confused with Neuromancer, with the $59.99. Sorry that I'm late to class, but an AI, oh, that reminds me. Oh, this is gonna be bad, Chet. There's, an a there's a video about AI coming up that's really bad. But an AI arrives exactly when he intends to. Here's some bucker buckaroos for your fight of misinformation. Appreciate it. Thanks for being here, Wintermoot. Don't touch Neuromancer or it will end the internet. This is truly awesome. Great work calling this out. Chat, would you want to see this as like a weekly thing where you find videos? Um, because some of these are pretty bad. When, when I was doing research, I was laughing out loud to myself. Um, oh, that's a... Chat, please! You're bombarding me with yeses. I mean, we could, I'm like, Chet, I would watch some of these videos in full, but literally a lot of them are just like 20 to 30 minutes of just reading a Wikipedia entry. Like, it's not technically wrong. It's just nothing. It's just bleh. It's just padding, you know? Um... I love you, nuclear man, says Rosetta. Rosetta, we hit our next video is two, two special things. It's, it's going to be a new Half-Life history. Um, it's not from Fukushima or Chernobyl. This is going to be one of our more traditional videos. Um, and we have a brand new intro. I had my Kevins make an intro um, that is similar to like the Marvel Cinematic Universe intro for the Half-Life histories. I hope you enjoy it. It's Kyle Hill's Crap Commentary Comedy Corner. Woo! Eyeliner Witch, welcome. Yeah, so this these streams will be a little bit shorter, chat. Um, but uh, but I think we'll I think we'll have a good time doing it. To know what not to watch. I'm not telling you to watch these. Let me do it. Let my brain rot a little bit. I'm not giving you TikTok supercuts and stuff and just being putting on glasses and being like, oh, here's where Jack's films lives. I wouldn't do that. I'm not an idiot. As an aspiring scientist, I appreciate this and am thoroughly amused, says Plutonica with the five. Plutonica, appreciate you. Good luck with your studies. Bingo for the common nonsense these channels say. That'd be pretty good, actually. Well, that's kind of what I was doing with the checking off the boxes of what we're looking for, but I kind of like nonsense bingo. I like that. Don't give them views. I'm not. I'm showing them. I'm, we're taking views away from them. Because what I what I, I what I see them doing is dangerous. Shayna Maloney, the ten, doing these videos, I feel is a good step against the battle of misinformation on YouTube. Those are good ideas. Chat, the last one's pretty bad. Chat, the last one's pretty bad. Okay, <laughs> last one's pretty bad. Chat. Okay, uh, it, it's actually it's actually worse than bad it, it's it's really really bad um because of something that i i think i i think i know how this video happened um and it blew my mind we'll see um lab 360 seven hundred thousand subscribers forty million views Let's check their titles and thummies. Let's check their... Th Thank you for allowing us to see this without destroying my recommendations. Exactly. Let's check their titles and thumbnails. Um, can't believe Tesla found this beneath the pyramids. Hint, not mummies. Wrong. Didn't happen. Yeah, oh yeah, we need the toggle for the white, uh, white logo black background. Wrong. That didn't happen. The video that we're gonna be checking out today, though, uh, <laughs> again, Mikio and the Musk. NASA just shut down quantum computer after something insane happened. Watch before they delete this and a picture of Robert Oppenheimer. Mm, that's okay. Chat. So obviously, 
Uh, well, let's see. Let's see. I didn't see any copyright stuff yet. Let's see. Okay, so this is this is one of the worst ones I, I've seen. Um, let's see. Do we have any? No copyright. But immediately, I am. Uh, I don't have high hopes because look how bad this stock footage is. Our everyday life is run by computers, from all the apps you run on your phone, to the spaceships we send in space. That's not even good. AI voice. They have AI voice that's way better than that. <laughs> we have computers that, we have computers inside of your phone that also compute things that are on your phone. Please watch us. Come on, man. Wait just a second. Boop. I don't want to sign in. That's bad. But chat, it gets worse. So this is about quantum computers. And uh, I noticed something interesting just right off the bat. Um, NASA just shut down quantum computer after something insane happened. Lab 360. NASA just shut down quantum computer after something crazy happens. Simply space. I'd be shocked if that wasn't owned by the same company making these. I found this randomly. I was like, hey, that sounds familiar. Oh, right. Exactly the same chat. This one's bad. But it gets worse. It gets worse. So this is about quantum computing, which is interesting. And what they've done is, is taken quotes from Michio Kaku, or uh, Mikio, of course. Um, Mikio Kaku. Uh, Kyle, is dead internet theory coming true? I have a video on that in the next two or three weeks. Um, Mikio Kaku here has, has said publicly why quantum computing can be so incredible and so incredibly powerful. Um, and the gist of that is, is that quantum, quantum computing allows for Q bits, quantum bits. Um, one interesting aspect of quantum mechanics is that it allows for superposition, for a system to exist in many states at once until observed or interacted with. And so in a quantum computer, a Q bit can be a zero and a one simultaneously until you use it in some process. And so the number of bits you can have, uh, the, the amount of information, the, the number of processes that you can have going on inside of a computer can be exponentially higher because for every bit, it's to the power of two, right? So it, it only takes like a hundred bits to be a super, a qubits to be a supercomputer or something like that. You know, it's crazy. And what Michio, Mikio, sorry, um, has talked about is, well, this could destroy cryptography. Uh, right now, the stuff that protects the internet, your phone, banking interactions online, that kind of stuff, could in theory be, be brute forced. But modern computers, would, it would take like 100,000 years for modern computers to do it. But quantum computers take that uh, apply the exponential power of quantum superposition and they'd be able to brute force these systems very, very quickly. Okay. So that is the underlying interesting part of this. That it could destroy cryptography or something like that. Now what this video is doing, do you actually work for a company? Says ND. Um, yes, I am my own corporation. Yeah, I'm not a businessman. I'm a business man. Um, so that's the underlying thing here. Now, what? Now, this is the, this is the part that I said that made me yell out loud. Okay, so we have multiple videos on multiple dummy channels that are saying NASA just shut something down. Shut down, and specifically, they're saying the government shut this down. Now that, I'm gonna come back to that. The government shuts this down. Keep that phrase in your head, okay? Liz Calvert with the 10, 
Tiny Human Alex asks, what exactly is electricity? Does it involve electrons? Yes, it is the movement of electrons. Thank you, Liz. Tell Alex I said hello. Um, keep that keep that in mind, chat, okay? Government shuts down quantum computer. Okay. So let's go to the next part that I wanted to show you here. Here. ...capabilities. But after something unexpected and startling occurred, NASA turned off its quantum computer. What happened? What happened? After something weird and unexpected occurred, they shut off their computer. Now, chat, I have bad news. They don't tell you what that weird thing was. Derry, thank you for the 10. Um, they don't tell you what that thing was. Spoiler alert. What they do is they take a quote that I just uh, outlined by Mikio, and then they give you seven minutes of just describing what quantum computers are and what artificial intelligence is. That's it. They don't tell you what went weird, okay? And this confused me. Elon Musk again, of course. This confused me because I was wondering, okay, what, what actually happened here? Was there actually, did the government actually come in and shut something down? The world's first artificial intelligence. Stolen footage. Boop. Adding. Boop. Did they, did, did the AI actually, did, sorry, now I'm, now I'm losing my mind a little bit. How is this chat so dead? It says Jackie, who obviously isn't looking at the chat. Um, thanks, Jackie. Killer, no notes. Um. What, what actually happened here? Forget what this, what this note was. Oh, wait, this one's so bad. Okay, I'll, okay, I'll wait, I'll wait, I'll wait. Um, so why do multiple videos say, they don't tell you what happened, but they tell, hey, the government just shut down quantum computers. They're scared. What happened? Chat, can you see what happened? Chat, this is the this is the 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 news. This is the news report that went out. This is the piece of news. Do you see what happened? Look at that. Google's quantum computer in limbo after government shutdown. You see what happened? The government didn't come in and shut down a quantum computer because something weird and unexpected happened just three minutes ago that cracked the planet open. There was a government shutdown, and part of that affected quantum the quantum computer that Google and NASA were partnering on. There was a government shutdown. The government didn't come in and shut down something. Holy crap. Yeah, and this article is 10 years old. How, how old is this? One year old. <laughs> that is so bad. And if you thought that was bad, chat, when I tell you no one's checking these videos or, or doing any due diligence, um, this video is about AI. It is about quantum computing and AI, okay? Now, I want you to listen very carefully to, at the end of the video, how they say the word AI. Technological innovations will come at some point in time. Thank you for watching Lab 360. What are your thoughts about A.I and quantum computing? Lab 360. What are your thoughts about A.I and quantum computing? What are your thoughts about A.I and quantum computing? They didn't even have the second dot. A.I dot. It should not only did they say it wrong because it's a computer reading it, but they didn't even say it right. We got Neil deGrasse Tyson. We got Miki Okaku. We got A dot I dot. We got molten hot larvae. 
It's unbelievable. It is so bad. It is so bad, Chad. A dot I, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Someone or some machine misinterpreted this so badly and then multiple channels, most likely owned by the same content farm, pushed out the same video, getting tens of thousands of views each about a complete misrepresentation of a piece of news. And then they, and they, this is even a good AI sound chat. Listen to this guy's voice. That's Our awful. everyday life is run by computers. Did you know that the thing that you're using to watch this is a thing that you have for which it is doing a dot I slash thinks that quantum Kaku is going to Elon Musk into space. Oh, wow. Wow. It's bad, chat. It's real bad. Before I introduce you to a channel that is actually pretty dang cool for this week's edition of Kyle Reacts to Crappy Science Videos. Um, how you doing, chat? This is, uh, if, you, if you like our live streams, you'll probably like me yelling and being interesting on our gaming channel, which you can find in the main channel. Uh, three hours, multiple three hour streams per week sometimes. We played everything from Fallout 4 to Dead Space. Um, coming up, we'll, we'll be tackling the Atomic Heart DLC. We'll get into Batman. We're playing Doom right now. Um, so if you want to see more live streams with me, go check out the gaming channel. But I hope you're enjoying this. This is, we haven't done, uh, we haven't done an office hours in a long time. So I, I hope you're enjoying this. Um, it's an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. Does office hours mean you are Professor Kyle? Yes. Which means you have a PhD? No, I don't have a PhD. But I am actively lobbying my university to give me one. Give, me, give it to me. So I can make all of you dorks call me doctor. Which I will enforce. Rosetta Stevens, thank you for the five. Um, when will you be playing video games, says Nanoku. You know Nanoku. Started Arkham Knight myself. Arkham Knight is fantastic. What's your gaming channel? Uh, I'll put it in the chat. Just in case you want to check it out, chat. We do game. In fact, even Aria gamed the last two sessions. If you want to check that out, go right ahead. Dr. Kyle, that's hot. This is Amber. Amber, calm down. Just calm down a little bit. You know what, chat? We have a little bit more time. Would you want me to pick a random video from this channel? Should we pick a random video from this channel? Let's see. I know, I know you're going to say yes. Let's check it out. It's not... I don't want to. I don't want to pad out too much of this time. Let the science inquisition begin. Try their latest video. Good idea. Eight hours ago. Eight hours ago. <laughs> Five dollars to help with the hospital bills from this brain melting media. Thank you, Jacob Demeth. See, this one doesn't look. See, see, when I'm looking for the bad ones, and I am being a little bit biased. Um, but these ones I know are just going to be Wikipedia articles. Hey, the James Webb Space Telescope looked at stuff. Look at that. Enjoying your live show while building my kid's crib. I'm so sick of all of this stuff. Thank you, Dan Mason. Say hello to your child. Get in their face and say, Kyle says hello. Um... Did this just, did physics just prove the existence of God? Heck, I'm game. <laughs> of course, whoa, did it? Did it? 
Kayla, thanks for being here. Kayla Atreides, straight from Dune, Arrakis, Desert Planet. Thanks for being here. This has been a debate for centuries. Humanity since whether what? or not... What? What? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> look, look. Chat, chat. So they're, they're tackling a topic as large as God. And this is how they start out. Whether or not God exists has been a debate for centuries. We've only been concerned about this since the 1850s. What? Yeah, we're watching ads because I'm in private mode so it doesn't poison my algorithm. Because I watch YouTube all day. Holy crap. We've been, we've wondered about God for 200 years? What are you? What? This is three minutes. Maybe we can just go through this one. That, that's wild. <laughs> three minutes. Humanity since its very existence has dabbled with the question of the presence of God. Or is there a divinity? No, no, I know you just said that. ...floating in space in the form of particles or waves. Nobody has said that. Nobody has said that. <laughs> Literally nobody has said, what if, what if God's floating in space? Huh? Hey, 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 excuse me, Mr. Pope. Uh, I got a question. What if he's in space? I'll take my check, please, in the form of crypto bucks. As laymen, while we have tried to answer that question to calm the fidgety mind, scientists at the European Organization for Nuclear Research, okay. also known as CERN. Okay. Have somewhat more concrete answers to the presence of God. No, they do not. Wrong. Researchers have brought in a... Okay, okay, I, I gotta throw up. <laughs> <laughs> we wondered about God for at least more than two weeks. AI voice is particularly terrible. Padding, repeating themselves. Convincing theory decoding the existence of God and that of the universe. Wow. Will this answer our perpetual question about the origin of the universe? Will it? Welcome to Lab 360. Oh, come it's on. time to explore. That's Physicists, terrible. Way back in the 1960s established the actuality of a field of energy that exists in every region of the universe. Okay. See, uh, Chad, this is what I'm worried about. This is, I'm worried about this is just going to be all just a Wikipedia article here. So I want to get to the end. Let me see if there's, let's see what they say at the end. Should we consider this particle as the epitome of God? and no life in this universe. Somewhat similar to us humans, don't you think? With no sur- What are you talking about? Without the Higgs field, and thus without the Higgs boson, there would just be no atomic elements, no stars, and no life in this universe. Somewhat similar to us humans, don't you think? What? Without the Higgs, without the Higgs field, there would be no life in the universe, kind of like humans, don't you think? Chat, what does that mean? I'm not having a stroke, right? Like, you, like that, that can't, that, that makes zero sense. I'm just going to hear it one more time, that's all. There would just be no atomic elements, okay. no stars, and no life in this universe. Okay, okay, so without the Higgs field, there'd be no life in this universe. universe. Okay, uh, okay. Somewhat similar to us humans, don't you think? With no supreme power to rely on, we are bound to scatter sailing through life aimlessly. First of all, screw you. Second of all, I can't understand what is happening. Should we consider this particle as the epitome of God? 
If not in a certain shape but as a mere particle, does God not still cease to exist? What? Wait, okay, wait, okay. So you're saying that this particle could be the epitome of God and then it would make God cease to exist? What? Certain shape, but as a mere particle. Okay, so does God? Okay, <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Wait. And through life aimlessly. Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay. Should we consider this particle as the epitome of God? Should this particle that I am talking about that exists be what God is? Okay. If not in a certain shape, but as a mere particle. Okay, so it's just a particle. It's not a shape. Okay, I follow you. Does God not still cease to exist? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Damn it, I can't. Chet, I have no idea what that was. Kind of makes me want to watch another one. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. That that was bad. That was really bad. This channel is really bad. Let's find um, let's find another short one. Do you want another short one? <laughs> that was that was pretty. That was pretty. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, let's. Should, uh, you want another one? Please check the comments. Yeah, that's a good idea. I can't. That sentence really hurts me. This was a good one. I really like this video so much. Bot, bot. Today, anyone with a degree and can edit three paragraphs can tell us anything that they want. How do we know? T today, anyone with a degree can edit three paragraphs and tell us any... Now a oi... Now a a dot i dot joint that cult. Oh, can edit 3D graphics. Am I, was I reading that wrong? Holy sh... Chat, my mind has been melted. <laughs> this is boring, says Panther. I'm out. Hey, Panther, you're not just out of the chat. You are... Banned. Woo! Let's do another one. Let's do one more. That was really bad. I could... Chat, we could do this for weeks. We could easily do this for weeks. Um... How to survive an alien invasion, the race against time. Some mummified alien remains being presented in the Mexican Congress to the... Wrong. AI voice. Misinformation. Bad title. It was... You can't start off assuming something is, is correct or real. Major Lee Awesome, welcome back, buddy. Thank you for the five. Disclosure Act, which directs the National Archives to collect doc... Forbes. Stolen footage. Boop. Let's check if there's... Copyright. No. No. Okay. Documents related to UFO sightings and disclose confidential records within 25 years to the public. Okay. 2023 has been a decisive. Chad, I just want to point out that the fact that people want records declassified says doesn't actually say anything about the validity of any of these claims. Okay. That's all I'm saying. Of year for UFO and alien enthusiasts. And as time goes by, people around the world are slowly getting convinced that we are actually wait, 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 not wait, alone. Wait, 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 Chad, did you... Chad, this is the first paragraph. Chad, they're so lazy that they're just putting in the first narrated paragraph as the description. Wait a second. Chad, wait a second. Which brings us to the main question. question. If, aliens if aliens do eventually, do eventually make, make contact, contact with us in the year 2024, and if that, and if that meeting turns hostile, do we, do we as humanity, humanity have, have the military capability to win, to win such, such a conflict? conflict? Come on! Welcome to Lab 360. It's time to explore. Look, I know from an SEO perspective, you can take some stuff from your script and put it in the description, but you're not even doing that! Wow. That's bad. Alien invasion has long. 
stolen footage. <laughs> been the fascination of science fiction directors with movies like Independence Day and Mars Attack. Be okay, so to be fair, if they're describe if they're describing the actual movie and saying something about it, that's not stolen. Being fan favorites. In both these movies, fair. the plot is pretty simple. Aliens come to. Okay, okay, don't care, don't care. Okay, still movie footage, 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 okay. Compared to this nuclear juggernaut. And even if we use the Tsar Bomba, it would have to be- How did you get here? How did you get- about lasers, the US Navy also has its own laser called the ANSEC-3 laser- What? How did- what? Tomorrow. The world superpowers will have to join all their military might to defend our planet against these space invaders. Okay. But assuming that the alien species attacking us is really advanced, do our earthly weapons even stand a chance against their superior weaponry? In Hollywood movies, aliens have been shown to have power. Oh my god! Happen if aliens do ever plan to attack Earth for its resources. Share your thoughts in the comments oh section my God. below. With us on Earth, they come with a message of peace and friendship and not war and destruction. But what do you think will happen if aliens do ever plan to attack Earth for its resources? Tinker Man Mick, I know these channels trigger you, but I watch your channel for the nuclear videos and I love you for it. I don't like this style of drama content. Sorry, mate. Tinker, I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Um, thank you for the kind words about the nuclear content. That's totally fine. This is an experiment, Tinker. Um, I don't know if anyone's gonna like this or enjoy it or if it's gonna do good views or anything like that. It's an experiment. And I'm fully willing for the experiment to fail. So thank you for your input. Um, that's fine. That, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I will say that it's not gonna replace any other content that I do. This is just, um, my attempt to tackle this in a fun way that's all um that's all share your thoughts in the comments section below and be sure to subscribe to lab three notice chat another thing that you can notice about these um there's a certain kind of padding going on in that i think they're buying comments and such so 5,000, oh, that's, I mean, that's almost no views. So it's getting almost no views for a 700,000 subscriber channel, which points to me that um, they're kicking out so much content that no one's actually engaging with it, that they just are scraping enough advertising revenue off of the shotgun method for it to be advantageous. Um, The aliens, they are from here, underwater, mountain bases, and moon. Tinkerman Mick, no, it's fine. I told you. I'm willing for this to fail. I'm just trying it out. Um, and you don't have to watch the live streams. Um, but chat, they are from here, underwater, mountain bases, and moon. You know how the moon is here? Man. Um, maybe a Kyle Hill reacts channel. Yeah, I don't know if I want to go as far as a whole separate channel. Um, but yet, um, since we've already gone long with this experiment, I'm trying out a new thing. Let's try something else as well. Screw that noise. Chet, I was pointed at, uh, when I did a, uh, poll to see whether or not I should try something like this. Um, people were pointing out to me another, uh, someone emailed me another creator that they think I should check out and then you should check out. Now, this epic spaceman or spachemin, um, only has 155, well, he has 155,000 subs for eight videos, which is a hella good conversion rate. And why does epic spaceman have such a good conversion rate because they spend the time to make this level of animation for everything. Now, Epic Spaceman, if you're watching, I'm sorry that I'm using some of your footage here, but I'm, I'm using it to tell people to go and check this out. The amount, the amount of work 
that this guy is putting in to every single one of his videos. This has nine, 900,000 views in eight days. And he's putting in this work, he's fully animating his own face or a face of a character. And he's doing, he's doing, let's find like, he's doing stuff that is seriously high end. Um, like these are all full animations that he's doing. He's not, he's not, uh, he's not, he's not stealing footage from anybody. This takes months for him um, to do each one of these videos. He also has a Patreon, if you want to check that out, that doesn't have um, very many subbies right now. But chat, if you want to check out a video, um, I would check out, check out this one from Epic Spaceman. There's another one about the size and scale of the Milky Way. Um, it is really cool stuff. And it's, um, it's impressive. Cause I know, I know, uh, I know what kind of work actually goes into high effort videos like this. And this impressed me when I was emailed it. Uh, so if you want to check out anything today, after today's stream to, to let's say, um, purge your brain of the not, look at all the particles on screen. Are you kidding me? That's great. Perfect way to end this. No, that, Caitlin, that's how I want to do these. If we continue doing this React stuff, then I would want to, um, I would want to at least recommend some good channels to watch uh, at the end of it. 900,000 views in eight days with 155K subs versus fake science with 700,000 subs and 5,000 views in one video. That's the difference, Chet. That's the difference. Chet, I know some of you maybe didn't like what we did there, but um, Kyle reacts and recommends do this once a month. Oh, I'm thinking of doing it more than that if you like it. Kyle, you look like the generic surfer dude and I love it. What you talking about, bruh? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go chase some gnarly pandas down by the uh, the beach in Melbourne got some got some crazy tubes around there, man. Chat. Um, if you enjoyed this, after this is live, leave a comment, leave a like. It will let me know to keep doing it. Um, it's not going to be our main content. This was an experiment. Uh, we have Half Life Histories coming up this week in the next couple of days. Um, what else we got? We've got some Fallout videos. We have interviews with people who photograph the elephant's foot. I might be going to Germany to check out some nuclear reactor stuff soon. Derry Dobby with the 20, throwback to the quantum computer stuff. Most people are scared of post-quantum threats to quatop, uh, are, uh, are scared of post-quantum for cryptography. Can you do a video on how the NIST sponsored development of post-quantum algorithms? Sure, I mean, I'll, I'll check it out. Um, I'd rather watch you play Fallout, but good on you for doing this. Steven, I have great news. We also have a gaming channel. Your Australian accent is on point, says Josh. I know, dude. That's kind of, that's kind of like my whole thing. Um, so chat, if you enjoyed this today, leave a like, check it out. It, Like I said, you, leave me constructive criticism because unlike some of these people in these channels, I am willing to be wrong and to make different decisions. Thanks for being here. Henry with the 10. Um, chat. If you've enjoyed yourself today, <laughs> let me know. Spam your favorite emoji in the comments chat. Next time you'll find me live, I think we will be doing another gaming stream on the other channel. Got to check out that horny refrigerator game. You're going to want to check that out. I'm also, I also have some um, Magic the Gathering content coming out next month. Ooh, wouldn't it be crazy if like, there's like a, a uh, 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 fallout related magic the gathering set coming out and it's like all about radiation and then like i'm playing like the science deck on like the biggest magic the gathering channel like wouldn't that be crazy chat what if i did that chat no matter where i see you next time whether it's the next one of these if we do them maybe i'll do a poll in the community tab whether it's the next one of these next gaming stream next main channel video, next Half-Life history, next facility video inside these hallowed walls. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope you stay smart, stay critical, and remember,
especially online here, be nice to each other because this is all we got. I'll see you soon.